In this video, I will consider one numerical on Norton's theorem. Find the current through 16 ohm resistor in the circuit shown below using Norton's theorem. This is the given circuit. So here we can see a 16 ohm resistor. We are supposed to find the current through this 16 ohm, 16 ohm resistor that is Ix using Norton's theorem. So here we can observe that this circuit consists of independent sources as well as dependent sources. Here we have 40 volt independent voltage source and here we have 0 0.8 Ix that is current dependent current source. So in if the circuit consists of dependent sources then we are supposed to calculate three parameters in Norton's theorem that is we are supposed to calculate the open circuit voltage VTH or also known as VOC. We need to find short circuit current ISC and we have to find Norton's current, Norton's resistance RN. So here VTH or the VOC is the Thevenin's voltage or open circuit voltage which is calculated across the branch in which current we are calculating. So here we are finding current IX. So current IX is flowing in 16 ohm resistor. So to calculate this VOC, we have to remove this 16 ohm resistor from the circuit. If we remove this 16 ohm resistor from the circuit, then this terminal A and B will become open. We have to find voltage between the terminal A and B. That is nothing but VTH or VOC. So first let me calculate VTH. That is VTH is calculate VOC or VTH. So here if I remove this 16 ohm register from the circuit the current IX will become 0 that is IX will become 0. So if IX is 0 then this IX value will become 0. So this current source will become 0 it means this current source acts as open circuit. So let me draw the equivalent circuit when this is open and this is open. So it is left with only 40 volt voltage source 10 and 6 ohm. Let me draw the circuit here. So the equivalent circuit will be like this. That is 40 volt. Here we have register and here we have one more register. This is terminal AB. So here we can see 10 and 6 ohm. This is 10 ohm. This is 6 ohm. As this is open, current in the circuit is open. So now we have to find voltage between these two points that is VOC. So here we can see that current in the circuit is 0. So voltage across these two registers is 0. So voltage between terminal A and B that is VOC is nothing but 40 volt itself. So here VOC is equal to 40 volt. So now let's calculate ISC that is calculate ISC. ISC is nothing but short circuit current. So now the terminal to calculate ISC we have to short the terminal A and B. If we short the terminal A and B the current through that path is known as ISC. So let me redraw the circuit. So here we have 40 volt. Here we have 10 ohm register. This is 10 ohm then we have 6 ohm register and this terminal A and B shorted. So this is ISC. So here we can see there is a current dependent current source. It is dependent on current which flows between A and B. So now in between A and B current ISC is flowing. So value of this will be this is current dependent current source. Its value is 0 0.8 ISC. So now let's calculate ISC. So in this circuit let current in this loop is say X and current in this loop is say ISC. So current in this loop is ISC itself. So here I can write there is a current source between two loops. We have to analyze this current source first that is 0 
isc is equal to v out x minus isc because x is flowing top to bottom these two directions are same isc is opposite so 0 0.8 isc is equal to x minus isc or i can write 0 0.8 isc plus isc is equal to x or we can write 1.8 isc is equal to x or we can write 0 is equal to x minus 1.8 isc let me call it as equation 1 so now we have to apply kvl to this entire loop that loop is known as super loop let me apply kvl to super loop that is apply kvl to super loop so here super loop is a b c d that is super loop a b c d so here let me start from voltage source that is we have 40 is equal to move along with the direction of current voltage across 10 ohm resistor is 10x that is 10x plus so this is already analyzed we have to assume that this is removed from the circuit if you remove from the circuit then current it will become single loop that single loop is super loop so voltage across 6 ohm is 6 into isc we have 6 into isc so done with this circuit so let me call it as equation 2 so now let me solve equation 1 and 2 that is solving equation 1 and 2 we get so these two equations can be directly calculated using calculator so here solving this we will get x is equal to 3 amp and we have is is equal to 1.667 so now let me find the Norton's resistance that is Rn so therefore we can find rn is equal to voc divided by isc that is voc is already we have calculated which is 40 volt that is 40 divided by 1.667 so solving this we will get rn is equal to 24 ohm so now let's draw the Norton's equivalent circuit we have ISC so this is ISC and Norton's register is connected in parallel with this so here ISC value is already we have calculated that is 1.667 1.667 and RN value is 24 ohm so now to this terminal we have to connect the 16 ohm register where we are finding the current so this 16 ohm register should be connected across Norton's equivalent circuit this is terminal A and B so this is 16 ohm so let current through this is say I so now I can apply current division rule that is by applying current division rule it says that current i is equal to total current that is isc into opposite resistor that is 24 divided by 24 plus 16 that is sum of these two that is i is equal to isc is 1.2 667 into 24 divided by it will be 40 therefore i is equal to 1 this will be 1 amp so current through 16 ohm register is 1 amp so this is calculated using Norton's theorem thank you for watching